I started when I moved to Boston, Massachusetts. Before that, I was up in Canada doing commercial illustration work and didn't like the advertising business at all. I really wanted a change. I really wanted to be more independent. I really wanted more personal involvement with clients. And that's when I evolved into a portrait painter. I think one of my strengths is colour. When I have a new client or I'm working with a client, they at some point will say, I really love the colour that you get into these paintings and uh, I would definitely attribute that to my years on the Cape Cod School of Art studying the Impressionist School of Painting. And it in a way does set my work apart from a lot of portrait painters that haven't followed that same path. I like my paintings to be realistic, but not photographic. If I was to say what I wanted to get most into my paintings is the feeling that you were there, bringing the onlooker directly into the painting so they can be there and experience it firsthand. A photograph will capture a moment, but a portrait painting captures the moment in time but also the spirit behind it because the painter will meet the people and be one-on-one -on -one with them, get to know a little bit of their personality and that's what gets into the painting. The first meeting is really to get ideas uh, and, and draw the client into the process. Sometimes choosing a location that's special to them is the direction we go and we'll go to some lengths to get to that location to make that the focus of the painting. Second meeting will be doing the photography. I'll do close-up shots, I'll do composition shots and it will change, it's very relaxed and try and pull the best out of my subjects and then I'll go back and see what the best of those shots are and make some selects, so I'll present that to the client. Next meeting will be to show charcoal, which will really be the beginning of that creative process. They'll see and they'll have a number of croppings on it just so that they can really see how that might look on their wall. Once we've decided on the composition, the cropping, then I go to canvas and, uh, and I'll start painting. Even though they may not be here while I'm actually painting, I have the reference, I've been there, and it's an, an emotional experience, uh, being in a place and recollecting that and drawing all that experience into the painting. I still consider what I do impressionist since that's the training I've had, and however detailed my paintings may become, I like to feel like they still have a fluidity and a looseness to them. I always like them to see the painting in person at uh, some point because it's good to get their feedback because that can be incorporated into the painting um, before I go to the final stages. I never regret saying goodbye to a portrait. Um, it's, it's all a process from beginning to end, but the end of the process is that it goes to the client and that it becomes part of their life and uh, once that takes place I'm happy. <laughs>